<laughs> Hola, and amigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm your host, Stephen Shaw. And I'm your host, David Korshid. Right now, we'll be giving a quick overview of the techniques used to build this animation. Let's talk a little bit about sliding layers. Uh, so in order to accomplish this effect, we actually have a lot of elements making up this little eye in the middle here uh, that, that resizes uh, whenever we click. Oh, nice. Uh, so David's applied a uh, border to everything to help us kind of see what's happening. You can see whenever I click to change, um, we're, we're applying kind of a random width um, to this eye. And you can see how there's like a, a border that suddenly appears that's, that's uh, off the side. That's showing how sliding layers works, where basically you have a little viewport, a little window that you're viewing an element through, and you're sliding uh, another element inside of that around um, within that viewport so that it, it appears that an element is a certain size, but it's actually another another size. Um, we've used this technique before. There's there's some other videos um, you can you can check out on it. But basically, our eye element is our overall uh, viewport. We're not hiding anything from that. Uh, but the char within that we are using as like our viewport with overflow hidden. So the eye is setting the actual width. Um, to affect the layout so that res and zer are, um, are offset uh, in the proper places. And then uh, the char inside is what we animate uh, to give that illusion that it's growing and, and shrinking. Um, so char uh, doesn't actually have any, any like style, like it's not visible, um, but the char inner is where we're setting um, that, that background. So you get this, this part of the eye here and then there's a, a pseudo element, the before, um, that's giving the overhead little dot there. Uh, and the markings are inside of that, another layer that's kind of sliding around. Um, there's a overflow hidden on that, and the, the after element actually contains all these markings with uh, some linear gradients. Uh, we break that down a little bit um, in, in another spot. Um, so, yeah, the we're we're doing the actual trigger to like change the sliding layers with the flip technique. Uh, we break that down in the other video, uh, but whenever you whenever we click, we're applying that width and triggering flip, and we get a bunch of CSS variables um, that are then uh, sliding these layers around inside. Um, so the I is transformed by the the X position and the char inside is transformed by the, the width um, so that it's offset uh, in, inside of that main eye layer and the char inner is, uh, is offset inside of that as well which, is that right? Yeah, yeah that's right because that's how we get the overlapping effect. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's a lot of different layers and a lot of little pieces. Um, mm -hmm. I recommend going back and watching the full thing to understand that a little more, a little more fully how how we got to all of these specific layers and everything. Any anything else to help break down yeah, that idea? Yeah, yeah. So um, basically, if we want to approach this backwards in, just remember that char char inner and the. Uh, what did I call it? Markings. In the, yeah, markings. Those are all the same width. So when resizer changes, those three elements never change size. So if you're still confused, think about how that could work with just those three elements, which are children of Eden, like, you know, nested, like Russian dolls. Uh, think about how that could work with all of them being the same size. And keep in mind that overflow hidden is used to create that, that effect. So, yeah. That's a that's a good summary. Yeah, and you can also watch the full process of us creating this animation from scratch with a deeper dive into each technique and seeing every drop of sweat as we struggle to make this work. So please check out the live stream. And if you have any questions, you could leave a comment or you could ask in the chat and we'll be more than happy to answer. Our show is supported by our sponsors, CodePen at CodePen.io and CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com and viewers like you, you can pledge at patreon.com slash keyframers. Links are available below. Yeah.